every generation has its evil mastermind. The guy who invented one-ply toilet paper, whoever keeps taking the McRib off the menu, and other pure warped evil geniuses. Although, they all pale in comparison to the evil of today. On the internet, people have very unique relationships. Some are illegal, some are legal, and some are just downright evil. The relationship that I have with Nikocado Avocado is very unhealthy, all right? <laughs> I just deflated a little bit. People love my videos that have to do with Nick, okay? And any other person of size for that matter. Why? I don't know. I don't f know, okay? I didn't choose this. It chose me. But I'm gonna fing own it. And to be honest with you, there isn't much more interesting stuff going on out there currently at the moment, okay? But fortunately, Nick Akato is now a villain. He's now a villain who is two steps ahead, two Big Macs ahead of me, two Big Macs ahead of you, two Big Mac ahead of everybody. His character arc has taken a turn for the worst. All right, guys, and I'm still trying to get that collab, by the way. I literally offered him 10 grand on Twitter. Because <laughs> I, I, hopefully I don't actually have to give him 10 grand because that'd be bad. I could spend it on charity or something like that. But uh, the amount of waves that a collab between me Meat Canyon and Nikocado Avocado would create would be tremendous and we could raise money in some way. I mean, you know, it might be worth it, to be honest, just putting that out there. So Nick, if you see this video, listen to me. He just randomly starts tweeting at me. It's really weird. I've totally forgot about him. He's obviously obsessed with me. Our beloved mukbanger Nick has shown his true colors though in a insane, unexpected lapse of character, he admitted to us that he is an evil mastermind. He's two steps ahead, two Big Macs ahead, two plaque-fueled arteries ahead of us. The fights with his boyfriend, the tears, the drama, all of it has been mere fiction from the beginning. What? How many layers to this onion are there? I hate the word onion, by the way. <laughs> Every time I say it, I'm like, onion, 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 onion. I bet he's not even fat. Just kidding, he's very clearly a person of size. We were all played for fools though, that's for damn sure. All right, especially me. <laughs> especially me, look at these tweet interactions. I thought we were friends. I thought me and Nick were friends. He also was in one of my live streams once and he put a bunch of mean emojis in it and I saw it felt really bad. He's probably not even actually fat. But yeah, well actually you guys were played for fools. I've known this from the very beginning. I literally said that he would get his own TLC, TLC show because he's gonna gain all the weight and then lose it. And then he's gonna, you know, he has to milk his career for as long as he possibly can. He is a man who has fooled the world. He's been putting on a show for years. And we, the gullible idiots, we just, oh, oh. We, like a famous Frankie McDonald video, have to eat 50 Nikocado videos. 50 hot dogs at once! And then 50 more to become satiated. Everything has gone exactly according to Nick's evil plan. He's, he's dying, he's ki literally killing himself. He's aware of it. <laughs> No, dude. It's a goofy story. There isn't anything more interesting on the internet right now, aside from the whole Ukraine thing going on currently, but you know, hopefully that resolves. And if not, I'll like to step in. Two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. People develop a distinctive desire Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. That. <laughs> I think I'm an ant, is what he's trying to say. Um, but as you can see, the dude is is clearly has a bit of an ego thing going on, which is 
another layer that is really truly epic. I love this so much. And then he went right into this video. Look at those. Spaghettios. You know. Yes, we are the worthless ants. It's, it's all according to plan, though. Genuinely speaking, I haven't seen anything more clear than than that ever in my entire life. Also, the video where he did this intro is kind of weird. Okay, so I got because it seems Luch genuine. Weeks, I know. Um, it's link probably in the his most genuine video in a long time. Ah, uh. <laughs> gross. Still, still nasty. <laughs> Ah. Still really gross, man. But he really seems to be enjoying himself in this one. Let's have one last bite of this. And is okay, it like crying and whining yeah. the whole time? The comment's really weird though. You're exactly where I want you. It's absolutely villainous, I tell you what. I don't need my spoon to defend myself. Shit's about to get real. Very creepy intro though. Very creepy intro. It, it is remarkable how intelligent he is. And we knew he could play the violin. And we know that he's aware of what's going on, as I've said in many of the videos that I've made. Same with Meat Canyon said the exact same thing. This guy's an enigma, man. This guy's an enigma. I wish he would be honest. I'd love to speak to him one-on-one, -on -one, make a video, cook him some brisket, let him eat him on a big spoon. <laughs> Dude, if he would do that, oh, I'd, I'd be so happy. I find this whole thing hilarious, especially him referring to all this as a social experiment, his channel or whatever. <laughs> Him luring us into making videos on him, whatever. Him luring you guys into watching him. What's the experiment? Him being able to literally shorten his life and then just galvanize masses into wishing the best for him and hoping that he turns his life around and doesn't kill himself from overeating. <laughs> It's an interesting social experiment. I have a f slightly different perspective, I think, to this whole thing. Even the idea of him having self-awareness may be fake as well. Now he's the villain. Is he, is he being honest or he's just, he's setting seeds and he's not actually like this. He's like uh, even another level ahead. I think that's what it is, all right? I think that's what it is, all right, damn it. Damn it! This will never end! I'm tired of wanting more. I think I'm finally warm. Also, one of my favorite quotes from that amazing villain intro is when he said, People will consume these stories, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction. <laughs> Says the guy who literally claims to be disabled because of a heel spur, a heel spur, which is easily preventable from heel inserts, stretching, mobility exercises, uh, having a healthy diet, new shoes. There's a lot of things you can do to prevent heel spurs. They're not just magically going to attack you and cause you to be disabled. I do like the moments of self-awareness though, the flashes of humanity instead of, and then it just immediately goes directly back into being a giant, Troglodytic oh, baby oh, oh. blabbering about nonsense, hitting his boyfriend and stuffing cheese and oh, cholesterol oh, down his oh, gullet. Oh. I do enjoy this entire thing. I have to be very honest with you all. But who is really trying to blur the lines of fact and fiction here? <laughs> and he's back with all this stuff, the <laughs> disabled stuff. Surgery Saturday. What the hell? What's he doing with his leg? He's disabled again. Unfortunately, the disabled crying wolf thing only la works one time for views, it looks like. You know, dude, I, I would I would love to dis be disabled for a video, you know? That'd be fun as shit. Or be Canadian for video and just do blackface. Look at all this. Wingstop Wednesday, Takeout Thursday, Five Guys Friday, Surgery Saturday, Subway Sunday, McDonald's Monday, Rice Cakes with Orland. I <laughs> just gave up on that, bro. And now they're just beating the shit at each other again. Even if it's not night, it cannot always be night. Was that saying go? Even if you're not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. night. <laughs> Spit on you, you bastard. What? He's selling. He's selling ingredients as Amazon. What? <laughs> I love it. He's selling ingredients in his top comment. What the fuck? I was born being boned, and you're discriminating me. Fat phobia. No. And the doctors discriminate me too, and they tell me that I'm not supposed to eat this way. I say discrimination. Exactly, exactly. That's what I tell him too. What's funny too is that he changed all these titles recently. They were originally I'm disabled dot 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 
Subway Surfer Saturday or whatever the fuck his titles are, but it was all these said that he was disabled and then but it just wasn't working. No one cared. And he's like, maybe this isn't a good idea. So let me uh, let me change it back. This is the greatest villain uh, of our time, guys. Chicks. The Jesus greatest Christ. villain on YouTube. Uh, villains have plans. Uh, Evil villains have uh, better plans. Uh, we can clearly tell. <laughs> oh, dude, this is crazy. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not okay. <sighs> no! Oh um, my god! I am not okay. What the fuck? Oh yeah, and did I also mention that Nick Nikocado collab with Tammy? Not our Tammy though, but another Tammy. A different Tammy. I literally thought it was real Tammy for like 10 seconds and that she looked really good and had- This girl's hilarious by the way. This girl has a really funny uh, channel and she's been doing stuff for years, but somehow she's friends with Nick, man. How can all these cool people be friends? What the fuck? He just doesn't like me because I talk mad shit. All right. And so Tammy well, Trailer there. Trash or whatever her name is. Hello. Oh, Nick! I'm recording. You guys, <laughs> it's Trailer Trash Tammy. <laughs> Intro, dude. Thank you for having me. I like this Tammy. If you guys don't know her channel, check it out. She's the queen of mukbang. Thank you. I'm the king. Thank you. Yeah. No, I did one. I did one mukbang, and I'm the king. I'm the king of mukbang now, actually, Nick Akato. I did one. I uh, stooped to your level, and I felt like shit for about a week after. I still feel like I haven't recovered fully. Okay, from the just... I can see just like bitching and moaning while you're eating food. Just yep. while you're just... I mean, it makes sense what he's doing, right? If you know what I'm saying. It was like really... It was very annoying for a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm trying to get the Jolly Bee, okay? What? They collabed on, on her channel years ago, and they just collabed on his... They look the same! Mm. What the hell? They're eating fucking spaghetti out of a... I'm so fucking confused. This whole thing is insane, dude. He really is truly the villain. All right. He really truly is the villain. And who am I? I'm like Keemstar, but for people of size, morbid beasts. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, click this video here and watch it all to the end. Or, yeah, something like that. I don't really know. <laughs>